The Winter Classic making its debut in West Fargo today, including outdoor games at the Lights, Packers, Mustangs, and the West Fargo United opening the action today and tomorrow with games continuing the rest of the week with the youth programs to the nightcap at the Lights, Mandan and West Fargo, Cheyenne, a scoreless game into the third period when the Mustangs break it open. Cooper Klaus splits the defenders and takes it in, ringing it off the pipe for the power play goal and the lead. Braves will pull the goalie with just over a minute in regulation left, but the Mustangs get the counterattack. They'll get the shot off and the rebound as it goes wide off the boards and they make a two goal lead as Jack Belisle crashes the net and then they add one more in the last 10 seconds of the game as Klaus wins the battle at the board and has a nice backhand move for the final word. 3-0 the final and the Packers taking the win as well. 5-1 over Dickinson. From the girls' side, Mandan defeating West Fargo United 2-0. Well, the Spruins shut out Dickinson 11-0. <coughs> Excuse me, Team USA was forced to forfeit its men's U-20 World Junior Championship. <coughs> Excuse me, preliminary game against Switzerland today because of a mandated team quarantine following two positive COVID-19 tests among the players in Alberta, Canada. The U.S. team's quarantine status will be reevaluated to check for false positives and to determine whether it can compete in its next preliminary round game, which is scheduled for tomorrow night against Sweden. <coughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, bull games are being canceled daily because of COVID-19. Some are happening and the Gophers able to kick off with West Virginia tonight in the guaranteed rate bowl out in Phoenix. Gophers put up eight in the second quarter on a two yard touchdown run and added a two point conversion. They'll hold that lead right now with just under 10 to play until half. Plenty of COVID policies changing today with the CDC's adjustment to quarantine recommendations and just in time for North Dakota men's basketball, who has become the latest casualty to a COVID outbreak. The team's games with South Dakota and South Dakota State scheduled for this weekend are now canceled. It comes at the as the Summit League adjusts their rules so teams no longer need to forfeit and suffer a loss on their schedule. Instead, games affected by COVID-19 will go down as a no contest. A total of six league games have been canceled for this coming weekend. In a similar situation in the NFL, where the Indianapolis Colts have placed a starting quarterback Carson Wentz on the reserve COVID-19 list. ESPN is reporting the former Bison and Bismarck native tested positive for COVID, but the positive test result comes in conjunction with an adjustment to the NFL's policies. The NFL and the NFL Players Association adopted the new CDC guidelines <coughs> Excuse me. That would reduce the quarantine time to five days from 10 days for all players, including those who, like Wentz, are unvaccinated. As long as they are uh, asymptomatic or at least demonstrating that their symptoms are improving, meaning Wentz would still be able to play on Sunday against the Las Vegas Raiders as long as the positive test took place Monday. Wentz is the 15th player currently on the list for the Colts as they look to uh, lock up a playoff spot with a win over the Raiders on Sunday. Luckily, this time of year, uh, the, stick around, we've got more weather for you next. <laughs>